And then now I got to pick a movie. And I think we can do the big sick. Or we can do Train to Busan if people want to watch zombies. <laughs> or like something more action oriented, I guess. I don't know. I was like, maybe something just more chill. <laughs> I was typing with one hand while eating. Oh, no worries. I'm just trying to figure out what is a good movie to watch with y'all. <laughs> so. Have you guys watched The Big Sick? You guys want to watch The Big Sick with me? I have a set. Like a... It's a real... It's like a real... Based on real life story. I don't know. Okay. I think I'll just do big sick. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this movie instead. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, as I was saying, Bobo, is it Bobo Tai or Bobo T? Bobo, Bobo Tai? Cape Malay thing. It's a savory sweet beef curry with like an egg custard on top, normally served with chutney and yellow rice. So, oh, that sounds super good. Bobo T? Bobo T? <laughs> uh oh. Does it not want me to watch this movie? Is it still going? Okay, maybe it's just my computer. As long as the movie keeps going. Oh no. Well, we're... Thanks for hanging out, even though you can't see. I relate to this a lot. A lot of his... Being Pakistani, a lot of his humor. Yeah, I like that. Um... I'm just gonna suggest some Jason Statham movies, but I'll give this a shot. I think maybe eventually we will, like, pick some other... Uh, action movies and stuff, but we're just gonna go with this for now since it's working. I might stream. I'm gonna be prepping a keyboard for sale. Ooh, what keyboard is it? That's exciting. Well, maybe after this, I will come raid you if you're still on. Stacked acrylic board. Nice. Dang, there's like... Bo Burnham is in this? I forgot. Oh, he is! That inside special was so good. Hi, Inomoshiki! Or Frank, how's it going? Tell me to log into Amp. Yeah, so I'm doing like, I'm trying this like watch party function that's on Twitch where we can watch a movie together if everybody has a Prime account. And yeah. 
Oh no. Thanks. Yeah, otherwise I was just like looping switches and I was like, how do I make this more interactive? Maybe I'll try to find like movies that I can stream actually on, on Twitch. <laughs> would it be would it be disruptive to put would it be disruptive to put uh what's it called? Music on? It might be hard for the people watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, I've never tried this before. So I was like, hey, giving this a shot. Yeah, on top of the movie. Yeah, looping stream is hard for sure. <laughs> I just wanted to try something different. <laughs> Why aren't you focused? Night of the Living Dead is apparently public domain now. I could do that. I'm down. I just, I wanted to do like more watch party type of things. And then I wanted to see if I could find stuff we can all. Yeah, I saw that all the Charlie Chaplin movies were. Maybe we can do that next Friday. I'll have to just got to make sure that they're like, okay. <laughs> Hi, Zinvec. I'm doing well. How are you? I spent a lot of like, maybe like, was it an hour, two hours or something like that? Um, troubleshooting. And I think maybe put a glove on. <laughs> So if you have a Prime account, you can uh, watch a movie with me and we would just chat about it. Um, ooh, I'm down for Phantom of the Opera. That sounds good to me. <laughs> okay next next week i'm gonna try to find copyright like free stuff and then we'll hang out while i loop switches how's that sound what does it say Fuzzy. I wonder if the OG sci-fi movie Metropolis is available. That's my name in Urdu. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Fuzzy. I mean, I'm happy to chat with other folks about stuff outside of the movie. <laughs> it's just nice to have something else going on in the background, <laughs> you know? Basically, what I'm doing right now is... Um redoing the or evening out the lube on these switches which is pretty uneven even though they are really smooth Hey, 
Yay, they even referenced Night of the Living Dead in this movie. Is it is it a sign that we need to watch that? Uh for the next stream? Okay, so I need to have this here. Oh, there's no build. We're just doing switch lubing today, Mango Head. Or Mongo Toe. I don't know. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. So maybe, yeah, next week we can do that one. Am I going to be really scared? I think I'm going to watch a movie while I stream. Yeah, see? I think, like, for switch lubing ones or... Like, it's nice to have something else going on in the background since I can't hear y'all actually talking or responding to me, right? This is my fault. Why is it my fault? It's a great idea, right? So... I think it is a great idea and... Oh, still my fault? Fine. I own it. I own it. <laughs> Great idea. What movie are you going to watch? Do you have a favorite movie? Everybody else? What were you guys voted most in high school? Like your in high school, what were you voted to be the most as? <laughs> Mine was like most likely to fix your computer or something in the future. You're looking for some really artsy fartsy silent films? We didn't do those in high school. Oh, superlatives. That's what it was. Superlatives. That's what they're called. Best dress and likely to succeed. Nice. Fuzzy, that's pretty good. I mean, mine was fixing computers and I don't fix computers. <laughs> you probably would have gotten that too. And then here you are being best dressed, succeeding and fixing computers. Your Tinder profile said swipe right if your computer is broken and I have strong opinions on keyboard layouts. Dev life. What um, what are your strong opinions, Cujo, about keyboard layouts? Oh, shoot. I can move this camera up a little bit. Caps lock on standard ISO and SI layouts is an extreme is in an extremely stupid position. I mean, maybe they did that because they didn't expect people to be using it that that much. I don't know. I don't know who designed this stuff. Control should be there. You can remap it though, and then. And then swap out the swap out the uh you can on oh and not like stock ones that everybody gets not the mass produced ones you mean that's true you don't really use caps lock that much. I keep accidentally hitting it, actually. <laughs> Dang, Citizens of Humanity. Did anyone else have uh, designer jeans at one point? <laughs> or go in on GMK Indigo? <laughs> Alt-GR with dead keys should be a standard on all layouts. 
the Anglo-centricism of ANSI layout pissing me off. To- it's crazy thinking about how much of the world is just is influenced by you know Western culture. <laughs> like, I don't know what that is. I need my. It looks like E B, but I'm probably not. Can't even type pound on the scene. Yeah. Duffy. I need it? Is that what that stands for? Or what it sounds like? Dude. Is, it, is that really dinner at your house? Everybody just hassling each other about what's going on in other people's lives <laughs> oh and go pray <laughs> oh and i think that column stagger row is greater than row stagger mm, i can see that you're not religious at all <laughs> There are more strong opinions, but I recognize shortcomings there. Well, you know, I appreciate hearing folks' strong opinions, you know. Um, you know, they, they come from a place of, you know, experience. And, and I like hearing about people's different experiences, especially because I haven't been able to travel very much. Your pa your parents wouldn't. I was there was like this show about like matchmaking, like, and that was I thought that was pretty interesting for like the arranged marriages and stuff. I hate having to curl my pinky and contort myself to hit control. I can see that. I need to fix my yeah some peeps on that I think at first my parents wanted that but I found my person why would they take that from me and they learned over time that's good that's really great because I know that there are definitely some families that are more strict about you know um, who people end up with and, and all of that you know Yeah. Imagine just disowning. I mean, that it's just that's awful. Okay, let me fix that. Okay, cool. What was uh what was your guys' like first date like? Or, yeah, what, what was a good first, yeah, first date ever? <laughs> or is this like a, a like, do you have like, well, you said you're on like the dating apps. Like, do you have like a go-to like formula of like what you um plan? Oh, you're not on dating apps anymore. But when you were or like, 
just any favorite like first date things that you activities or whatever I'm mostly asking because in the movie they're talking about like what they did on their dates <laughs> Best one was a hike I went on with my girlfriend now. First date we went on, got sushi that night. Nice. You only ma matched with one person. And my partner just came over to my place and we watched movies. Nice. Watching movies is fun. And that's why I wish this watch party was more accessible to everybody. I picked this movie because it said that like different regions could watch it. But I guess, yeah, it does mean that you have to have Amazon Prime to watch it. Dang, Kumal Johnny's got some lions. <laughs> what movie did you watch? Or movies? What movies did you watch? Yeah, dude buffed up for Marvel. Man, I wish Eternals was better, though. It was not a good movie. It was kind of trash. <laughs> we were chatting on WhatsApp for ages, and I wrote a whole essay on why the Cola X Coffee thing Coca-Cola did was horrible and should have never been sold. I will have to look that up after this. Didn't even see it? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I, w I watched it and I mean after watching like Spider-Man No No Way Home or whatever like Eternals was not good. I think we watched Blade Runner. Ooh, the new one or the old one? Like the original one. Nice. Was it Harrison Ford, right? Was it Harrison Ford? Yeah. For when I first watched Blade Runner, there was a kind of a chunk of it where I had no idea what was going on. Is this a lecture about interesting? Dude is cringe on purpose. Oh gosh. <laughs> that was pretty rough. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Wonder. I won't. I won't play music underneath the. Or maybe let me try it and see what happens.
so honest and good. <laughs> weird to have like a little bit of music in the back learn something about me how to do Some of the stuff that they were allowing on, uh, to be played on Twitch, I was like, really? <laughs> like, the boys? <laughs> I feel like today's theme of the day is like is poop. I was watching uh Timato's uh stream earlier and people were talking about poop stories of like when they had emergency poop stories. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, Fuzzy. It's sometimes you just gotta go and it happened. It is definitely relatable. <laughs> you just have to poop. <laughs> I wonder if people are going to watch this later because it's not going to have the context of the movie playing in the background and just be really confused as to what the chat is ha what's happening in the chat <laughs> hey no worries I don't think anybody will no notice or Not on the, the frame. <laughs> you do like your beard, otherwise I look five years old. I feel like a lot of dudes feel that way. Like, once they shave off their facial hair, they feel like a baby. At least that's the feedback that I've heard <laughs> from the dudes that I know who have beards. <laughs> lubing well i'm just cleaning up the lube on these and uh it's it's going i need to figure out a way of keeping all the stuff in frame i mostly had gone with this angle because my hand is still messed up uh but 
now I have this glove on. Honestly, I think they could have used a tad more lube, but they're fine stock, good enough. I'm not complaining. So, I am. What's wrong with my hand? Um, I had. I ate. Basically, I had an allergic reaction, and my hand was like broke out in like a, a rash and stuff, and it wasn't healing. And uh, so I've I cut out eating all the things that I'm allergic to and it's finally healing but it still looks kind of gross right now and I was like uh this is a stream where people are gonna look at my hands and it's kind of not pretty you know what I mean so I was feeling kind of self-conscious about it and that's why on the other streams when people were asking about it I was like oh yeah I've like punched a bear and I punched a shark and saved an old lady and all that but um hey so how are you doing noki how was uh the bars with with the girl yeah <laughs> the story got really wild it was a grizzly bear um but yeah these switches um i put a bit more lube on them and they um um they felt a little bit um a tiny bit sluggish and so for these are actually starfire penguins switches and so i'm just helping uh even out the the um the lube on them and then i also have uh boba u4t's of hers that i'm i'm lubing for her actually you didn't go a last minute change your mind and your girlfriend went though Hey, you know, sometimes it's better to just stay inside, right? Like, if you don't feel like going, like, you shouldn't force yourself to go out, right? I've definitely done that and regretted it. <laughs> I fought a giraffe and a bear. It came by. It was a mosh. You just seen the bear? Yeah, that was definitely one of the lines for sure. I think it was like somebody in the chat was saying that I like came and saved them and like a dispute or whatever and I was like yeah I got in the way and then it turned into it being a grizzly bear and then the next person who asked I was like oh like there was like a, a car that was like speeding through an intersection I saved this like grandma in the intersection and <laughs> punched the the car and then the grizzly bear came out. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I ended up playing hours and hours in Elden Ring. Oh, nice. How are you liking Elden Ring? I mean, clearly if you're playing hours and hours of it, you're enjoying it. I don't know about chilling. More like death. De yeah, there's a lot of death in that. I don't know if I can hang that kind of game. Like... I, I like being like super powered like right off the bat I want to just have superpowers it's been super satisfying when you beat something that's been killed killing 20x times that's true Yeah, Oil Kings are pretty popular recently. I, I want to get more switches to try, but I was like, oh, I need to save money. Oil King is the switches I'm working on for your build now. They have a very nice weight to it. Nice. I think the thing is like... I think I need lighter rings. So I'm like, do I spring swap? What do I do? I have lots of black ink, same here. I like lighter. I try not to look at Dane Keeb's website. They have so many switches. I know. It's so, so amazing. Yeah, the red jackets did feel really heavy. And I was like, 
compare like because i was using zaku's at the same time and they're also 6.35 and they feel a lot heavier Yeah, you're not crazy fuzzy. Zaku's in this mode. Oh, are those too heavy for you too? Hyperglides felt like that at first. tried hyperglides but i feel like a lot of people like them i see them in boards all the time that in h1s and op blacks i haven't tried those either i want to try op blacks oh yeah 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 i definitely felt like um the zakus were lighter these are the red jackets from Athleon or knc keys and um yeah they're like uh what's it called squid squid games colored squid games themed there was like a whole um like like the stickers and stuff yeah the color is really nice i think it's showing a little brighter on my camera uh than they are in person, they're kind of like a deeper plum color, and they're kind of showing a little bit more um, yellow. I think maybe my lighting isn't... It, like, keeps shifting. I need to figure out how to set up my camera. <laughs> Been having so much trouble with uh, the stream lately. My spacebar sounds sockier with the red jackets on the portal than I thought. I, I mean, I like it. Yeah, it, it changes colors and I'm not sure... Like, I need to go fix the, the settings. I'm not, I'm not sure. This is a new camera and so there's a lot going on that I didn't do very good. I assume the long pole would be higher pitch. It's not. It's it's still a pretty deep sound on this. I like the way this the um housing feels though because um because what's it called? Like the like super smooth plastic kind of feels a little deep to me, I maybe. I I kind of like the like sure on it maybe set your white balance not on auto and set it to something specific okay i will do that after the stream because it took me a couple hours to get stuff working it seems like stuff is working so i'm glad Bought a tofu for this first time. Never got one coming into hobby. Ooh, nice. Is it a 60? Oh, no worries. Yeah, it is a uh, kind of long. Tofu is a classic. I, I, I'm I using mine as uh, my work. They're kind of muted. Tofu 60 for an old. G nice. You're gonna do a build for your little brother that's really nice um what um are you planning on doing the like o-rings on the standoffs this spring doesn't isn't as long as some other springs um the, like the charu like uh, charu switches that i've been lubing that spring was super long
with with um with uh what's it called the tofu 60 you can actually do gummy gummy uh o-ring on it i was super sad that uh i couldn't do it on um i couldn't do it on my 65. o-rings on standoffs are not that bad anymore i think it was maybe eric eric were you the one who told me to do it this way somebody told me to do it this way but you put the o-rings on the screw yes yes it was eric you put the o-rings on the screws on the pcb and then you put the pcb in and then you can screw it in versus trying to adjust it was such a a big brain tip that i was like yes <laughs> It has definitely made swapping switches and stuff um, on my much easier. I did that, but oh man, I struggled for some reason. Oh man. It is really tiny and then just getting the alignment right is kind of tough. Yeah, I'm really happy how uh, my tofu turned out. I brought it to that meetup for Frank's birthday. Oh, there's an easier way to do it. Even more easy. I brought it to uh, Frank's birthday keyboard meetup. Was it last weekend? And uh, I had my uh, these switches on it. And I want for people to try. I figured everyone had more nicer boards to bring. <laughs> and he said that it turned out pretty good. So I'm pretty proud of myself since uh, that's my first board I built. You can stick o-ring into the screw first, stick it in the PCB, stick the o-ring at the end of the screw, give the screw a little twist, and then you can screw it into the case. Obviously, don't screw all the way or else it'll squish the o-rings flat. Hope that helps, Noki. And, and Fuzzy, you can try that too on your board. But yeah, I bought a... I got... I bought a... I bought a gummy o-ring because I was like, ooh, maybe I can do that to my 65. And alas, you, you have the, the standoffs are in the wrong place. Thanks, Eric. And if anybody is watching the movie right now, it's kind of a dramatic, emotional scene. That I wouldn't make purchases. Oh, what did you buy? I I got I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Like I need to stop spending. <laughs> yeah, the story was based on what like really happened to them. Yeah. You bought the purple frog? Congrats on getting it. That's awesome. I resisted because I got a species. 
and also bought a bunch of stuff. That purple is really nice. You were in stock though for a bit, so my chance is there. Uh, yeah, everybody in uh, Starfire's chat, like, the frog has to be green. Can't be purple. <laughs> that was the general feeling in there. Ooh, FR4 half plate. Noki, I have a feeling that I didn't buy the right, uh, correct O ring size. Mine was a bit tight, but I didn't have. Good. Thank you so much. Have fun playing Elden Ring. I hope that you kill a lot of things and not be killed as many times. I'm okay without. May try something else. Next, I was looking at that too. I kind of like that layout. Yeah, we'll see who who in that group landed a key cult. I I tried. I went into it just because I was I was like maybe we'll see. You like the layout with the little RGB? Nice. Thirsty. I just, I didn't, I didn't want to get another 65 just because I have two now. Uh, yeah, he was talking about the O-rings for the, I think he has a 60. You still don't have a TKL? Well, if you're not needing all those keys, then it should be okay. Romano. There's so many people in this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super all like the doctor stuff is super stressful. No, everyone's trying to help, but you're numb at that point. It's a lot to process for sure. It must be hard for them too, like delivering bad news every day. Eric, are you going to build your TK, uh, your frog or are you going to have Ben build it? Daughter. Nice. I like that folks are, you know, who have like their people that they sent their boy. I think that's really nice.
feel like it's kind of hard these days. Like, there's so many people with, uh, build forms and stuff. Yeah, just been easiest NYC person to bring it to. That's good! And he's so- he's so nice. Yeah, it, fe it feels like... There are a lot- it's like a lot of... A lot of build folks out there. Next board he requested if he could hang on to oh to try it out. I think that was the thing for me. I was like, oh man, I would love to like help people build their boards and then uh Oh, that would give me an opportunity of figuring out like what I like and whatnot. And I think separately, I just really like um, pottery. That's probably the most special board I've owned to date. Oh, nice! Is it a secret? Can you message it to me? What it is? Oh, you got it! That's exciting! Rosé, right? Like, the singer? Yeah! So, uh, <laughs> I started a, um, like, earworm channel in my Discord. And to post like just songs that get stuck in my head or whatever and her version or her cover of slow dancing in a burning room has just been stuck in my head for like days it's very good He has a very unique voice. Yeah. I like that it's different. That's so exciting. And he's going to try to steal it from you for a week. just have like lube in wrong place k-pop boards be hard to get is it just because they don't make that many of them well congrats on getting that one how many of them were there is it the only one Wow. Super exclusive. And so you got the FR FR4 for it? Or EP plate. <laughs> nice. That's funny. Look at this. I don't know if you can get that. It's not very even. Don't think I've ever paid so much for a plate. I think it's uh I was talking to Dot from um 
Haru design and like there's no apparently no like good polypropylene like distributor or whatever in the states so i guess it is like pretty expensive like having to import it or something so that could be a factor too Auto mod lube is okay. <laughs> oh shoot. Allow. There it goes. Yeah, it's kind of a uh... Yeah, there's some that have like a lot of lube and some that have no lube on it. I think overall, like, they still feel good. Yeah, still heavy. Wait, it was $55 plus shipping? Holy moly. That's wild. Was it from overseas? The store is in New Jersey, but yeah, I think they order it overseas when they send off plate files to have it cut. Oh, hey! Uh, how's the movie? So we swapped from Mission Impossible to The Big Sick because I was feeling kind of uncomfortable where they are just talking about where they had like mentioned Ukraine and stuff and I was just like maybe this is not like a good time to watch this movie <laughs> so um but yeah it's like an emotional point in the movie so far but yeah um Still streaming. It took me, what, like an hour or something to even get the cameras all working. And... Um... Yeah. Trying to figure out a different way of... Doing... Switch lubing streams. <laughs> Here we are. The plan to lube all the switches on stream. I mean, I was, so, the thing I really wanted to do was just kind of have watch parties with people, and then the the switch looping part is just, you know, as, it's stuff I'm doing anyway, you know, um, because, yeah, I, I have started a switch lubing service thing and so I'll be lubing a lot of switches and so I figured not try to figure out a, a you know streaming because I know that switch lubing isn't popular people like seeing boards getting built and stuff Yeah, switch lube being service. How it goes. Seem like folks really hard to find people to do it, I guess, or people don't want to do it and they don't mind doing it.
Man, there's like stuff in dude. I haven't lube switches in a hot minute. That's that's lucky. Shout out North Carolina, yeah. I haven't been to North Carolina. But a bunch of people from my work live out there. Or one of them is moving out there. One person from my team. Once my builds come together, that'll change. Yeah. Lube all the switches. What switches do you like? Or what, what are you planning on putting in your boards? Rosé properly popus. Popus are really pretty. I haven't tried them. I, if I can get some, I will. I'll try. Oh, this camera died. Sat seventy five has lavenders over. Lavenders over FR4. Uh, the... The, uh, what's it called? Base 80 that I got has an FR4 plate. And I haven't tried it before. Am I dead? Oh boy. No video! I had so many issues with my camera tonight. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Generally, any JWIC switch over FR4 will be good. Okay, I'll have to give that a try. I don't know, do I? I think I have some. Emotional point in the movie right now. Look, there's so much lube on this. had plenty of people say that to you before i'm sorry that's terrible people are just so mean Like your English is good. Well, yeah, no shit. I was born in the U.S. Yeah, stuff like that really annoys me. Yeah, they're too staged. Can you hear that? The 
just wasn't sure what my mic was picking up on. I think I kind of like Two Stage Springs. It has like an interesting uh, key press feel. Like kind of like a little bit of a tactile feel in a linear switch. Are so muted. Need to fix them. Probably we'll just nuke this spot after. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Trying to do something a little different. Fuzzy, is it just you and me watching this movie? I don't know who else is watching this movie. Yeah. I appreciate it. It is a good movie. I think, uh... Oh yeah, it is really late for you. You should get to bed. I mean, thanks for hanging out. I remember watching this movie and crying. <laughs> Such an, an emotional movie. It's like a lot of fuzz. Took out my soldering ironing and it'll be a bit longer. Ooh, what are you working on? I want to try a Zaku space bar in my portal. Nice. I do really like Zaku in the space bar. Especially if it's a brass plate. Oh, man. Such a nice sound. It's not that bad on Alu, too. Um, I have that on my Hex 4B right now. I've generally realized that long pole switches on spacebar so good. Yeah. I was kind of thinking I would just... If I'm doing soldered builds and stuff, I would... Uh, I guess hot swap too, but I would put a different... Kind of like the olden days or whatever. I would put... Uh, big old glob of move in there. But yeah, like the olden days there's different switches the uh, space bars, right? I still need to try my pen use. Because those are supposed to be like black cherry pies or whatever. And like shoes and yeah, he puts BCP on his space bars. 
So I was like, maybe I'll put penus in all my space bars. <laughs> that's supposed to be the similar, right? Or something. They're inspired. Penus are inspired by BCPs. I've been putting, um, heavier springs. But yeah, I've been putting heavier springs on my, uh, some of my space bars. Oh, man. Wait till you see my, um, well... I don't know if this counts, but wait till you see. So I'm building, um, or not building, but like putting together a Keychron K4 V2 for someone. Um, I guess it's like maybe considered a commission build or whatever, but, um, I am putting, uh, Boba U4Ts in it because they, they really wanted tactile switches, but all of the switches are different. <laughs> so I have like a couple that have black tops and like a different spring weight. <laughs> and then like some that have clear, clear tops and then some that are, have milky tops. But it's technically the same switch, right? So technically. <laughs> It's cursed. <laughs> if it's different tops and spring weights, yeah, it's different tops and different spring weights. But there's still Boba U4Ts, so. I mean, the only difference in spring weights is only in the ones that have black tops. And I think that one is just what I'm going to put in the space bar. Um, the way that I'm going to do it is I only have enough milky top ones to go around the um to go around the outside of the board and then everything on the inside is going to be or like the clear rgb top i think it'll it'll be okay but it'll probably drive a lot of people crazy i just didn't want to like wait around Yeah. Also, this is uh, someone who is new to like mechanical keyboard stuff, so maybe they won't even care. Maybe they think it'll be okay. I'm still trying to decide what to put. Well, the space ED is hot swap. I guess it doesn't really matter. I put in there because I can try different stuff. But I am excited to put that together. time is it? 11.24. Movie is not even over. Will I finish these switches or will the movie finish? I guess I should put like a prediction or something up. It is really late. Especially for you! All over in the East Coast. All you East Coast folks. Being crazy.
Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 18, 18, 20. 22 left. Oh no, this is actually more than 22. These ones I need to like be tuned. Because they're super muted. I think that I'm not going to finish this before this movie is over. But once the movie is over, I think I'll stop and I'll go raid somebody because it is getting. I appreciate you hanging out. Are you watching the movie or are you watching other streams? Hanging out nice. Well, I appreciate you hanging out. You were for a bit. I, I just wish that I could... Whatever move. Yeah, I was trying to do something different with the switch moving deviation. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do something a little different for the switch loop. Well, let's just give it a try. I'll try to find a copyright free, like copyright movies. Oof, I just hit my end keycap on the GMK7. Oh no! Oh no! Did it damage it? Oh. Moto light? Oh no! Slight burn mark didn't melt through. That's the one that you waited in line in the in the like drive through trying to get it. At the bottom of the keycap. So at, so it could kind of be hidden maybe a little bit. Hopefully. I'm sorry. When I was uh making cables, I definitely uh melted part of the cable <laughs> hidden by the space bar okay well at least you can't see it but i know that it's like one of those things where you're like i know it's there I bet that was a huge moment of panic. Yeah. Do four counts. Four counts in, hold it for four counts, exhale for four counts. It'll be okay.
Dang, heavy stuff happening in this this movie. Glad that this part of the movie isn't going to be in the VOD. Okay, it's not too bad. It is what it is. Bound to scuff a set. Where is a... Yeah, it's... Sucks. But... That it was a well-used set. And it wasn't a new one, so... I guess that's the bright side. Sorry about that, though. It is. What am I less worried about? Uh, what sets do you have? I guess GMK Nuclear Data is your newest one, right? Do you have a favorite of all your sets? Synthwave and Hennessy as far as GMK. Nice. Yeah, Synthwave is nice. Think caps and zooted. I haven't seen those. I'll have to look that up after this. <gasps> Seriously though, why is it that streaming makes stuff go take so much longer? <laughs> you feel that sometimes? Was your chatting? I I didn't think it would be that distracting. But I like chatting with y'all. That's why I was like, oh man, be more fun, right? <laughs> really bugs me how muted. Oh my god. So much drama in this. Oh, I feel that. I feel that this scene so much. Like. Like. Life. 
having like firm rules and stuff always like a conflict for me <laughs> Hey, Jiraiya! How's it going? Oh, man. I didn't have lube. Oh, shout out Jiraiya. Shout out Fuzzy. Shout out Noki. Shout out... Uh, I'm doing well now that the stream is working. <laughs> took like an hour to get it working yeah i'm just glad to be here hanging out with folks watching a movie with everybody well not everybody you know oh yeah arc too thank you for doing the shout outs oh my god The the parents telling you that you're wrong or whatever. Oh boy. Eric doesn't stream. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, I think I as even as an adult, I still get the you are wrong. Though. Zaku's face was worth it. Nice. Yeah, Zaku's on the space bar is. <laughs> Why dude trying to relate? Okay, buddy, thanks for trying, right? <laughs> Just totally different <laughs> experiences. And you can't see the burn, yay! That's good. Has anyone had a burger with four slices of cheese before? <laughs> Overkill? They said they can't- they can't do it in the movie. <laughs> fix the uh, white balance on both of my cameras. I feel so bad for the uh, the guy in the movie right now taking the order. Sorry, machine broken. No McFlurries. Speaking of food, I had some pretty good Viet food when I was in the Bay Area for one and a half days. When were you in the Bay Area? Were you in the South Bay? Because that's where all the good food is for Vietnamese food. Yeah, that guy has to go clean that. I felt really bad for that guy. People definitely take, take their stuff out on like service workers and stuff not cool oh yeah how i guess i probably asked you already but how was your other trip how are all your trips yeah san jose has really good vietnamese
Oh, you were going to the different concerts. God, I, I don't know why that didn't uh, click in my head that that was what you were doing. <laughs> That's awesome. I did see your um, Instagram story. I don't, why didn't it click in my head? Gain a lot of weight? Oh gosh, I mean... You did go to Texas too, right? So like, there's a lot of good food out there too. Yeah, vacation is the best time to start eating all the things and just relaxing and... I want to go on vacation. I think both Texas was where the bulk of the weight gain was for sure. Yeah, that happened to me too. I also noticed that like when I travel, I like, I, like I gain a lot of like water weight. Does that happen to anybody else? Like being on flights and things like that, like my legs like swell up and stuff and i tried using like those like compression socks or whatever but it was also very uncomfortable <laughs> lots of food in texas we ordered like 500 dollars worth of barbecue for five guys and a girl at this popular spot that was a three hour wait didn't finish it oh my gosh what do you do with the rest of the food I think the longest I waited for barbecue in Texas. Oh, ate it for breakfast? Okay. I'm glad you didn't it didn't go to waste. I think the longest I waited for barbecue in Texas was probably like two and a half hours, maybe. I love barbecue. I love all forms of barbecue. Korean barbecue, Japanese barbecue, American barbecue. I think it's some of my favorite food categories. Barbecue, sushi, and fried chicken. And noodle soups. Yeah, it was interesting wait for sure. Not sure if you know about the place, but they offer free beer and water while you wait. That was something that was cool. Like, uh, like, uh, what's it called? I think there are places there where you can, like, they can't sell beer. So you can bring your own or something, or they give it out for free. <laughs> so, really nice. Just going on a girl count me in. Okay, so when is this meal? <laughs> Sounds like a good four course to me. I, I mean, am I gonna have to do like a mukbang kind of stream? <laughs> I will try to eat all those things. <laughs> there was one point in my life that I could put away that much food. <laughs> I actually don't know exactly how that format works. Is it you just eat a lot of food? You just sit around and eat a lot of food and people watch you? Is that it? Eat and talk? I mean, I could do that. I believe so, with the sounds. Uh, so the big sick is, uh, based on, uh, Kumal, Kum is it Kumal? Kum Kumal Anjiani's, like, real life, like, love story. Yeah. Get getting out of the, the drama part. It was a lot of heavy stuff for a bit. So many 
little hair things. Girlfriend gets cancer and ends up finding love again. She woke up from a coma. Yeah. Yeah, they went on what, like a couple dates or something? And that was... This one sounds like mac and cheese. Vietnamese coffee from Seven Leaves Cafe. Yeah. Vietnamese coffee is really good. I had it in this one place in SoCal. That was really good. But the wait for that place was super long. I don't even remember what it was called. Something Cafe? Nem Cafe? Nep? Nep Cafe. Nep? But it was really good. This health is pretty crazy. Oh my god, this one's like so bad. Get the got that much lube off of it and like there's so much much so much in this fun yeah making good progress although some of them are just straight up mac and cheese sounding stirring a pot of mac and cheese Lavenders can sound like that. Ooh, stock or just. Oh, I fixed this. Oh, if you over lube them. Nice. S N L. Gotta be real careful lubing them. Yeah, I just tried the Gazoo method on some linear switches uh, in the last stream. Doing the treasure with the popcorn and uh, I need to practice it. Woo! I hope I didn't get lube on my desk. They sounded squishy. Oof. Um. Of 
personally not a big fan of Gazi method for most switches. I got some just to try that process. It was a bit faster. Um, but yeah, I have to check and take a look at the. Yeah, Bay Romano's in this movie. There's a lot of people in this movie. Dang, he's pulling out all the stops. <laughs> Dang. Someone get bruh a jacket? Pull outside? Oh. Yeah. I I appreciated it. That whole that whole thing though, where it's like, oh, uh, you know, just like a big gesture doesn't isn't the answer to like every problem. Like a lot of uh they, like, you know, movies make it out to be like, oh, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely more real. Like, Thinking that a big gesture is just gonna make someone forgive uh, for. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not realistic.
of these were very overlooked. <laughs> I think I'll, the, this pile right here is... The family is mad at him because uh, he's not going with the traditions of the family and kind of, you know... Yeah. And then this one has like no lube on it. Yeah, I had to pick and choose wisely. I think, yeah. I can see why um, invokees were like handpicking and doing the B stock, A stock thing because. Like, there were some that were okay, but then some of them, I was like, there's no. Or, oh, there's so much. Or why is it chunky? Why chunky? It was like that for some of the matcha latte switches. I didn't really look at the... I didn't really look at those. <laughs> I was like, oh, these feel good. And then... I also got the bee stock ones. They're actually in a box right now. Um, I guess I should have checked them. I would have expected like maybe the earlier A stock batches to be more... Thorough. Dang it. So gross. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you meant for the B stock ones. Yeah. I haven't done it yet. I haven't I haven't heard the uh Infamous lube farts or whatever. What words do I have on the way? Um, well, I have the class 65 in my living room right now. <laughs> I have a uh, space 80 that I picked up today. I have the... I went in on the Z60 Evolve. I don't know when that is getting shipped at all. Um, I have a, a couple builds that aren't mine. Like that uh, Keychron... Um, Keychron... A four V two. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with that. Um, and also uh, an Alice like stacked acrylic. I can't remember what that was. And then uh, uh, Icky sixty eight mint. So. I feel like I have a good amount. I know, I, I didn't realize how much of a list I was growing and 
I don't know. Maybe hopefully more folks will trust me to do their boards. I'm still like working on like setting up shipping and stuff. Because I'm doing the... Because what I want to get to is a point where like offering mill max services because I got thinner solder. I also bought um, a wiring pen. So, you know, people who have PCBs that they try to desolder that like um, they need to jump the pins. I'm going to be able to do that. Um, maybe... Maybe one day I'll be able to get a desoldering iron. I'll like save up for it, but um, what's the key to mill maxing? I think a lot of it is just being careful and like not putting too much. Um, uh, I bought mill max sockets to um, put in the Z60 Evolve because that one you can set it up as different layouts and stuff. So it's kind of seemed like a perfect candidate for it. Oh my god, look at this. Like, um Yeah. I might try some point. There's def keeps I would rather have mill max PCBs for rather than permanently solder. Yeah. Uh, I just thought it would be a neat thing to try. Uh, I know that, like, there's this pros and cons and stuff, like, some switches not, like, seating properly or whatever, or, like, KO switches, like, their pins being too uh, thick <laughs> and not fitting. But, yeah, I think it'll be a good skill to learn. And seems like it's stuff that folks want in their boards. I just want more opportunities to solder. Is that weird? <laughs> hey, small chungus. Soldering is good. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome to this kind of scuffed stream, but it's been cool hanging out with folks and chatting. And for those who have Prime Video, hanging out, watching a movie. Just woke up, slow morning. That's a good morning. I just want to stay in bed all day. I feel like work lately, I've been having to get up a lot earlier than I used to, and it, I'm tired. I mean, look at, like, how late it is right now, and it, get up, like, you know, getting up early is tough. <laughs> you guys have anything fun, fun that you guys did this weekend? Today was just, um... Keyboard, all keyboard related stuff today for me. Um, nothing actually. Not having nothing to do on a weekend is also very good. Just a recharge weekend is good. Hey, hey, Melody. How are you? Yeah. Don't know how the day just went by. Yeah, the dads, they all like. They come around, right? And if they don't, then poo poo on them. <laughs> but yeah, today was a lot of uh, keyboard stuff. Thanks for hanging out, Eric. Have a good night. It's super late for you, so th yeah, thank you for hanging out. Uh, I'm doing all right. Um, it's been a very productive day. I did a lot of keyboard stuff today. So like, I went and picked up a keyboard. I dropped off some giveaway switches. I dropped off a giveaway artist, or not a giveaway, a gift artisan to my brother. I um, dropped off some client switches that I had lubed. And now I'm lubing another client switches. You may have heard of her. Uh, it's Starfire Penguin. 
So, yeah. It's been a very keyboard filled day. I finally got both cameras to work and not freeze. So that was good, even though it took me like a whole hour. So close to finishing these. Yeah, super productive. And then um, I was thinking of doing this like watch party thing while the looping switches. Because it sounded like fun to watch movies or shows with folks. But the thing that sucks is that it requires people to have a Prime account, which not everyone has. So, but yeah, we've been watching the, the big sick. We started off with Mission Impossible, but it didn't seem right. But yeah, I've just been playing uh, music in the background on top of the movie because that way folks who are not able to watch the movie can at least, it's not just like complete silence. <laughs> but yeah. I told folks I would try to find like a copyright free movie so that we can like hang out and watch it together. But yeah, I wanted to do something a little different than your typical just didn't. Especially because I really like watching movies and stuff. The movie is done. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, Fuzzy. I know it's super late for you being on the East Coast and all. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah, sleep in. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'm glad you enjoyed hanging out with the movie. Yes, today. Um, it was good, like, connecting on some of those, like, cultural moments where I was like, the other folks won't get this. Yeah, the commentary is good. Well, I finished all the good ones, and these ones just still need to get tuned or whatever. They're really muted. So... I think I made pretty good progress. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 left that I wasn't happy with. But yeah, I like, yeah, I was just trying to figure out something a little different and uh, like, I'm glad it worked for some folks that, uh, you know, watching the movie and stuff. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing when we we're talking about the movie and for some folks who couldn't see it. But yeah. And thanks for all the folks who like stuck with me through all of the troubleshooting too. It was a whole journey. So hopefully from now on, it's not gonna mess up. Fingers crossed. Um, hopefully, yeah, like I'll have two cameras and it won't uh, keep crashing and freezing and whatnot. Parents deserve a firm fist shake for sure. Agreed. The tough love, you know. Actually, both sets of parents, right? Both sets, like, it's, la it's not like... One was like better than the other or anything like that, you know? Because even in the beginning, I bet the parents are chill now that he's successful. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yeah, the other parents like came or they, they like changed too. 
how to watch invincible on amazon prime next yeah it was on there as an option uh but that show is that show is wild i'm down like uh it was good but it also just made me so mad yeah i can see that <laughs> um but yeah i mean what are you guys thoughts on this format because i was thinking i would just you know on fridays do switch lubing and have a movie on kind of deal um otherwise i would just kind of sit here and watch folks streams and stuff which is fine but uh yeah, i'm happy to chat with y'all you you know you know, you know. Yeah, this one doesn't even have move in there. Count me in. I like the sound of that. It was mega chill. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I was watching, I was checking out some other folks who were doing the watch parties thing. And it was more of like, you know, city, just the sitting, watching and whatnot. And I think at least this has some like keyboard stuff. Yeah, we can do Invincible next. Um, like the whole Mission Impossible series was on there. And I was initially starting with that because I was like, ooh, action movies. And then I was like, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> this is not a good time for it. Or if anybody has suggestions, cause the other thing too is like, I was like, there's some stuff, like some of the shows that says that I could put play uh, are, definitely like mat rated mature you know like some of them i was like i'm pretty sure there's boobs in this i'm reading the invincible comic it's good so far i'll have to check it out i've been wanting to uh read the uh, was it why was it why the last man or whatever i started watching the show and it was okay but there's one character i super liked in it so it would be cool to like read the comic i think you have all of them nice i don't know what to do to make this like not muted You nonchalant skeleton votes Farscape next. I've not watched it. Have other folks watched Farscape? I guess that is that one that one have inappropriate stuff in it. It was a TV show in the 90s. Maybe not. Nineteen ninety nine. Ninety 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's not too shabby. Oh, is it generous? <laughs> oh, I wanted to watch uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel because um, I liked the first two seasons. The third one's okay, and then the fourth one just came out, and there's people in it that I don't want to see, so. Man, 
I don't know about these. I think these are just gonna be... have to be muted. But people I do want to see in Marvelous Mrs. Weasel. I can't get this to black. Yeah, uh, I guess now that the movie's over, we can raid somebody, and I'll just finish these off, st off stream and all of that, so let me finish this one and then we'll find, or does anyone have any recommendations for people to raid? I can't see who's on right now, too much loop on me. Oh my god. I feel like I would have finished this like an hour ago because <laughs> I wasn't chatting. Oh. But I like hanging out with y'all. You know? You know, you know? Read a taco truck? <laughs> Might be that time. All right, let's see. Trail gloves do not smell great. Huh? Let's see. Pop it to there. See who's on. <laughs> Uh, John is on. Triggity's on. Let's raid Triggity. Cause, well, let's see. Are they three hours? Ooh, also switch lubing. All right, it's gonna be a switch lubing kind of night. Um, where are where is my chat stuff? I think I accidentally closed something. But all right. Raid. Rig. Rig. D. Gosh. D. Anyway. Uh, seriously. Thank you guys for hanging out. Like. I. Couldn't. I think it was way more entertaining to. Uh. Lube switches. With you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I'll have to catch you on your stream next time. Thanks so much for hanging out, Small Chungus. I'll, uh, I guess I'll try to do these watch party type of things uh, on Fridays. And see you guys around. Because I have a ton of uh, switches to lube. Anyway, have a great night. Thanks so much for hanging out. Love you guys. Bye.